Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. Welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Seacourt Park at St Bee's Head. Let's go and take a look around. We join the journey today heading out of St Bee's Village and down to Seacourt Park which is located at St Bee's Head and the start of the Coast to Coast Walk. On arrival you check in at the reception which is located on the left hand side there. We'd booked one of the shoreside pitches so we had uninterrupted views of the bay. Pack our bags and get in that car The site has touring pitches and a number of static caravans. Let's go for a quick explore. The site has a facilities block with ladies and gents toilets, chemical emptying point and a laundry. There's a couple of washing machines and a dryer in here and a place to fold up your washing and also a sink as well. As well as the ladies and gents there's also an accessible toilet and shower. Let's take a wander out of the site now. You can see the start of the coast to coast walk just near the playground there. On the way into the site you pass through a large car park. I believe it's possible to stay overnight there but worth checking. There's a sandy beach here as well. There's a beach shop and a tea room. There's also a hotel which does meals and drinks. Let's pop into the hotel. Yeah, the countryside is so Let's have a quick look around. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you We had a drink and some fish and chips which were very tasty. But having some food, we then took a wander on the beach. Roxy was really enjoying herself. The weather had brightened up a little bit as well, which was fantastic. It really is a lovely bay and beach here, especially when the sun comes out. Roxy was keen to keep playing. We were treated to a really nice sunset on the evening. It's Thursday morning now. So time to take a walk up to St Bee's Head. There's a nice walk along the coastal path that you can do from the site, which takes you up over the top and you can head along all the way to the lighthouse. In this case, we headed part the way there as it was blowing a gale.
There's some lovely views looking back along the coastline. You can also see right across the site and over to St Bees. There was sheep in the field and there's also nesting birds in the season, so make sure you keep your dog on a lead. If you keep going along the track from here, you come to the lighthouse. This is the point where we stopped, had a look round and then began our journey back. There's the sheep again. There was also some cows in the field near the site. So Rachel, what did you think of Seacourt Caravan Park and St Bees Head in Cumbria? It's been really lovely. The weather has been wild. Um, the caravan site's lovely, quite a lot of statics, not that many touring. Toilet facilities really, really good. Um, hotel, restaurant, cafe close by. Beach, literally a couple of feet away. Roxy has loved it. She had the time of her life yesterday afternoon. It was brilliant. What did you think? Yes, it, it's been great. Very wild last night, as Rachel said. Um, the van was really rocking at some points and that was with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, brilliant, uh, brilliant sight with a brilliant outlook. If you can get one of the pictures just on the, um, uh, pretty much the shore side really here. So yes, very nice. Hopefully next time though, it'll be a little less wild. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.